Samantha Drew, thanks. This home behind me has major fire, smoke, and water damage throughout after Monday night's fire. The woman that lives inside this home is wheelchair bound and was home alone at the time, telling News Center that it was a California police officer who saved her life. I put a waffle in the toaster and I went into the bathroom. I come back out and there was smoke coming out of the toaster. And next thing I know, the kitchen was on fire. Within minutes, smoke completely filled Linda Davis's Highland Drive home as fire started ripping through her exterior kitchen walls. Davis was able to get her power scooter to a patio door and called 911 for help. Within minutes, it was California police officer Robert Dorkin who came to her rescue. I already had the door open because it was getting where I couldn't breathe. And he said, come on, ma'am, you got to get out of here right now. And I told him I can't walk. Well, he, he stood me up and he says, I'm going to carry you. And I said, OK. And he threw me over his shoulder, carried me out to the tree, leaned me against the tree. With Route 88 closed off to drivers, Davis was checked out by paramedics and was able to stay on scene and watch firefighters put out hot spots inside what was left of her home. Davis's two dogs and one cat were already outside when the fire broke out, but another cat was still inside. Firemen found, it, found him in there and brought him out. They're was, okay, right? They're okay. The cat was a little bit wet and scared, but he's fine. Yeah. Now, Davis says that she is extremely grateful for all of the first responders who turned out for Monday night's fire. At this point, it does look like as if this home is a complete loss. Right now, she is being helped out by family members and the American Red Cross. In California tonight, I'm Bill Lepenis, CUTV News Center.